Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. This week, a little bit of a mixed bag for you. So obviously last week, Bonnie had her first show. Bonnie is my tiny, nearly two-year-old Welsh, Welsh Section A pony and she did her first show. And wait, and she got her first rosette. So if you guys want to go and check out that for some heartfelt, wholesome, pony vlog action then please do i'll put the links in the description box below also lara has been very lucky after her last run at kiso um, in the b100 which didn't go completely to plan nothing went totally disastrously wrong uh, but i just didn't run her in the cross country so i had my fabulous physio come out afterwards to come and see her my physio is called sophie allen Vet veterinary physio therapy god that's a mouthful um now sophie is fantastic and she's seen lara for the past for the past two seasons now just she does maintenance treatments on her just to make sure everything's ticking over and working as it should be and she was very happy with what she saw with lara so i was very happy too it's nice to have that peace of mind because obviously in the next couple of weeks we've got our next event today first and foremost i'm actually going show jumping very shortly um, and I thought I would try and bring you along. Sadly, I don't have anyone specifically at the venue who can film me. So I'll have to try and sweet talk someone into filming my round. But before that, I wanted to talk to you about something that happened a few weeks ago now, and I've actually been keeping a little secret from you. So I had the fantastic, lovely Martha Lily photography come to my yard to meet myself and Lara and have a photo shoot. I've always loved her work and her photography is just brilliant. And I thought when she messaged me and asked me if I wanted a photo shoot with Lara, I jumped at the opportunity because you can never have too many horse photos, can you? Literally. On the day, of course, I was vlogging the whole thing, the whole experience to bring to you, to show you. And then silly old me went home, started trying to edit it and somehow deleted half of my footage. However, I do have snippets of the day. Because of my monumental, can't say that word. Uh, what's another word for that? monumental disaster i thought i should make it up to you and give you the chance to win something special now i've never done a giveaway on youtube before uh because i've never done vlogmas and obviously i know they're very popular so i thought because you guys also have been really supportive of my videos recently i would give you the chance to win the best prize in my opinion so let me go back to the beginning and i'll explain to you a little about the day and what you can expect when you have a photo shoot with martha i received in the post a little pack which was explaining everything i needed to know about this photo shoot from what outfits to wear for how you have to present your horse also martha was just at the end of the phone or instagram if you had any questions she'd be happy to answer them anyway so on the day i spent lots of time getting lara spruced up to the best of my ability and also myself now guys Getting ready at the yard is a bit of a different kettle of fish and you have to be prepared. Well, I wasn't prepared. I didn't bring a mirror, that was so silly. Lara is the most impatient horse when it comes to having her photo taken or standing still. As some of you guys would know from our previous dressage test, for example, she never likes to stand. Well, it's the same when you're trying to get a pretty picture out of her. Martha was so lovely and patient and very professional about the situation. She deals with lots of different types of horses, fit competition horses like Lara, who just want to get on with the job, to little ponies, cheeky ponies. She knows how to deal with all the different situations. Martha will help you choose your wardrobe picks. You can send her pictures of them and she'll say, yes, that will work really well, or mm, I might need to rethink that one, Lucy. So I was like, where's the competition at? <laughs> She's not the most patient of horses, so. <laughs> Luckily, I've got a very patient <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just horses, isn't it? <laughs> she's, look, she's standing perfectly now. What's going on? <sighs> Laura, it's because I'm not pointing at her. She's been fine. She's just quite... I'm glad I've got a bridle on and not a head collar because otherwise I think we'd be in a different county. But it's very good. I think she's enjoying it. Yeah. She just likes... She wants me to do more spots she's, because every time we yeah. move, she's happier. Yeah. Like a variation. She does. 
so we're off to take some more variations. <laughs> the shoot you have the chance to get the most beautiful framed print of your horse and that comes with all of Martha's photo shoots. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh. Isn't it? Oh my Stunning. gosh, look at that. With a nice little mark That's so beautiful. And they're fully ready to hang. So this is what you get if Included you get in a shoot. So yeah my shoot fee includes the shoot, me, styling advice, the shoot guide and a frame of your choice at the viewing session. So there's a private viewing session at my home and you get to choose your favorite image. Because I liked my outfit so much, I wanted to give you guys the chance to win it. And that is what my giveaway is, everybody. I'm giving you the chance to win my outfit from this picture here. Now, I've got the items here with me today. I'm just gonna go through a little bit about each brand and then I will go through afterwards how you get the chance to win this prize. So we're starting from the feet up. This is a pair of Fairfax and Favour heeled Amira boots. Now Fairfax and Favour is a local brand to Norfolk in the UK. Here they are. Um, they do boots, shoes, handbags, accessories, clothing and it's a brand a bit close to my heart see those who know who know but i won't go into too much detail so yes these are the boots and um i love them you can dress them up or down and they're super special i think the rrp is four two five the next item that we have is another small business who i absolutely love supporting vantage atelier and they do these amazing handmade skirts out of tweed. I've always loved and admired her products, so that's why I'm really excited to give you guys a chance to win one of your win one yourself. Now you can't beat a versatile base layer, can you? And this, this my friends, defines versatile base layer. So this is the roll neck from Ginger and Jardine. It's super, super soft. I cannot tell you how soft it is. I believe it's bamboo. It's in this beautiful camel color and it, you can pair it with literally anything. Wear it with jeans, wear it with skirts. Really, really nice. Can be, <laughs> just slapped myself in the face with it. The next item in my giveaway is another brand actually that I have a relationship with. In fact, I have a relationship with all of these brands, which is why I'm gi giving you guys the chance to win them because I love them all and I've known them for so many years. This is a belt, not just any belt, it's a Dalton's belt. Here we go, look, Dalton. Is that the wrong way around? This is a Dalton's belt, suede, lovely brass buckle. The next item on the giveaway is Hi-Ho Silver. Now I've worked with Hi-Ho Silver for many a years and they've supported me as a rider. And the item which I'm giving you the chance to win today is my, can't get it off my neck. It's the cherry roller necklace. Look at that, everyone. This is beautiful. This literally lives on my neck. In fact, it doesn't really need much description because it's just, it's just fantastic. And I love it so much. And the last thing on my giveaway, beautiful headbands from Oculus Clothing. Another small business. Um, I know Grace, again, from, she's a Norfolk girl and she has created this small brand which do headbands, cute items of clothing, um, and it's all really lovely. But these headbands I love, and the different colours, as you can see, so modelled so beautifully on my head. Just you can pair them with literally any outfit. So for your chance to win this amazing bundle, worth, I'm going to put the amount at the bottom of the screen because I can't do maths, worth this much money, you have to head over to my Instagram at Footloose Eventing and follow the steps on the post. Now the giveaway will be going live when this vlog goes live. So tomorrow at 6 p.m., which is Monday the what day what date are we? What date is it now? Monday 
<laughs> We're going live Monday the 24th to Friday the 28th of May. So there's only five days to enter. The competition is open internationally. It is no way associated or endorsed with Instagram in any way whatsoever. All the other T's and C's will be on the post. So good luck guys, get entering. So as I mentioned before, today I'm going show jumping. Um, my show jumping round is at half past five, but I'm really gutted because obviously I want to find someone to come and film me. So I'm just going to phone Amber, really put her on the spot and um, see if she's available to come and film. Oh, it's ringing. I never get signal here. Voice now, All I need to do is a quick change and I'm ready to go and start getting Lara ready. But I have something today which I'm trying out for the first time which I'm really excited to use. I was contacted by a company called Premier Performance CZ and this is the product which they've sent me, the calming cookies. So I've heard a lot about these calming cookies, heard big things about them. Essentially, they're designed to just take the edge off and focus the horse. There's 10 in this bag and they're literally, they smell like kind of minty but not. Anyway, this is, this is them little treats so it's in treat form i think there there is also a powder version i've given lara today a loading dose so she's had one this morning she'll have one kind of half an hour before i load her and i'll have to check but she may also get one when she gets there this is only a local competition obviously there's no pressure on me i'm taking her to this event today not to necessarily win although obviously coming home with rosettes is very nice but just to see if i can get her Jumping a nice, steady show jumping round. Amber's phoning me, hang on. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah, you sound tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired actually. Oh. I just had a nap in the car. I just had a nap in the car. Uh, I don't suppose at 5.15... You fancy like whizzing down to Forest Edge to phone film my round at five thirty, do you? Oh, the cheek of it! <laughs> the cheek of it. What's the time now? I've got three. It's half three now, so you've got loads of time. I'll buy you some food from the cafe. Um. So what time are you on? Half five. Yeah. Twenty four minutes past okay. five. I probably could. I'm just now got home and I'm gonna go ride. So then I could come afterwards. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much. You're a legend. No problem. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, there we go. That went well. She's going to kill me when I put that on the vlog. So, yeah. Let's go sort my tack out. Okay. I have successfully already... Ooh, it's very dark in here. Come on, lights. Light. There we go. Um, cleaned my tack already, but I wanted to show you something which I'm also trying today. This is the day for experimenting. So the new bits I'm trying today are from a company called Expert Bits and they specialize in affordable bits for a variety of horses. And actually, Laura Collett is one of their sponsored riders. And if it's good enough for Laura, it's good enough for me. This bit here is a universal. So it's got the snaffle ring. This ring obviously attaches to the bridle and also this ring here gives you a bit more breaks without it being as harsh as say a gag where they've got three rings um, and mouthpiece wise this is called a comfy mouth because it's got the lozenge it's the shape supposed to alleviate pressure off the tongue and also give you a bit of breaks. So you, I have been riding it in the snaffle ring as well, just to try out on the flat, and she's been going quite nicely in it actually. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying it out today. Now princess, hello vlog. You ready to go and do some show jumping? Yeah? Hmm, looking very enthusiastic, Lara. And obviously Bonnie fans, here she is. Bonnie. Bonnie! Hello! Come here! Come here! 
Come say hi. Oh, she, she's tired. This is the thing with Bonnie. She stays out in the field now for most of the time. And yes, she's on restricted grazing because obviously she's a small pony and um, can't let her have too much grass, but she gets so tired. So she does come in every day for a little nap. So she's now thinking, this is my nap time. She's got cream on her nose. It's a combination of sun cream. Well, it's basically, it is sun cream. Um, just to, because she's got a pink nose. So don't want her to get sunburned. Yeah. She took me 10 minutes to get here. I found a quicker way. Anyway, um, apparently they're running ahead. I'm just gonna put my stock on. This is my favorite go-to stock from Olivia Stock Ties on Instagram. I'll put her handle here. Um, and I've got it in navy and I've got it in cream, but I'm wrapping, wrapping the Aventas today. Still wearing my tweed. I always get looks when I go to show jumping wearing tweed because obviously show jumpers don't wear tweed, do they? I'm really annoyed that I didn't, I wasn't able to show you how, um, how Lara loaded just then because she basically looked at the trailer, was like, oh, I don't know, and then just walked straight up. For those of you who've seen a few of my other vlogs <laughs> where she's towed me around the yard a few times, um, you will realise why that is actually a bit of an achievement. Right, what am I doing here, Lucy? Come on, sort it out. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to put my stock on. I've got so much wispy hair. Anyway, I'll just put this on and then we'll go and take a look and see what's going on. But yeah, I should really concentrate because this is looking bad. I know where we are. <laughs> Do you know where we are? These jumpies. Yeah. Right, better go on because they've started the class. Oops. Oh, we don't bother. <laughs> that was close, Laura Lee. <laughs> last competitor of the day in the meter class. I have to say it's a very kind looking meter class. Nothing really scared me massively when I was walking the course, which is always a positive thing. So coming to the first, I'm trying to get that rhythmic canter I strive for. A little bit close to the second one, I just kind of was interfering a little bit too much. But round the corner, she just feels really in my hand in a good way and not necessarily fighting me, which she has done before, just when I've ridden her in the snaffle. So I think this bit is a definite success in terms of that. Now I love a related distance, so we just popped through that very nicely. And again over that. Now you can see here, I just start to become a bit complacent and we have a bit of a miscommunication at fence eight, sort ourselves out for nine, and then I think I just get a bit carried away and I'm letting her bowl on a bit too much, um, because if she's got the opportunity to bowl on, she will bowl on, <laughs> because she's enjoying herself. So this is the thing, everyone says, oh, you're going too fast, and it's like, the rhythm, the rhythm is there, but it, it's, yes, it is a little bit quick. Um, but we finished the round, and I was over the moon, having one pole, which was my fault at 10. Um, I'm happy with her. And I think she jumped the rest of the round really well. And look at her ears. Oh, she's so pleased with herself. Bless her. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. You ready? Come on then. Let's go. Ba -ba. Yeah, you can hear Bonnie. Yee. We're home. It's fun. Here she is. Aww. 
Oh, be nice. Come on. Right, Laura, let's talk a little bit about your mummy and how silly she was. <laughs> oh, dear. Laura jumped so well. So the reason why I wanted to take her out today just to do one round was because the last oh, a couple of times I've been show jumping, she's had quite a few poles down and um, it kind of knocked my confidence a bit with the show. Like, I struggle with the show jumping anyway, um, but I just, I know that she's so pretty. I know that she's perfectly capable. I'm perfectly capable as well. So by coming out today, it was meant to be that I come and I have a good, enjoyable round with her just to give us both confidence. And I only entered the meter. So yeah, and I just wanted it to be a quick thing in and out. Anyway, so she warmed up really well. I don't tend to go to OTT in the warm up. It's a very quiet warm up, mind you. There's only two horses in there. And I like to just do a quick warm up with her in terms of get her moving and moving underneath me. So walk, trot and canter on both brains. Get off her back in the canter, just let her travel. I don't really worry about getting her, you know, on the bit, as it were. Um, just as long as she feels like she's listening to me, she's off my leg, which she <laughs> always is. Um, and then, yeah, pop a couple of cross poles, a couple of uprights and a couple of boxes. And then I'm normally good to go. And that's exactly what she did. And then we went in and I would say she was super. She always jumps well there. She was super. I, on the other hand, was not. She actually saved me a couple of times when I saw really bad strides. And um, she, yeah, definitely helped me out. Um, apart from one where I really took a really horrendous line into turn and then I had it down. Which is such a shame because if I didn't have that pole down, we would have won. Um, because I was three seconds ahead of the um, leader in terms of time. But we did come home with a really pretty. We came sick. There it is. Look, Laura. You came sick. She's like, I wanted a red one, Mum. I know, you did very well, well done. So if you enjoyed our little show jumping outing today, make sure you give it a like, leave me a comment and subscribe. Also, don't forget guys, the giveaway is going to be live, probably now by this time. So head over to my Instagram, Footloose Eventing. Also go check out the brands and Mark Lily Photography as well. And um, yeah, I will see you very soon. <laughs>